Hey guys, Big Glenn here and today we're going to be talking about Genesis Mining and Cloud Mining Services. Before I get into all that though, thanks for everyone who's subscribed and liked so far, but if you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below or this little link down here and don't forget to like this video and comment down below any thoughts that you have what I may mention in this video. I'm sorry if my voice is a bit muffled, I've got a cold so I've got the tissue at the ready. Um, but yeah, anyway, poor me, let's get on with it. <laughs> so yeah, Genesis Mining, if you've never heard of this before, it's an actual uh, company that have a, t a massive warehouse of GPUs running and they will mine for you for a set fee. Obviously, uh, very profitable business and they seem to sell out very quickly. So instead of me setting up an actual PC rig and have it running all the time and using electricity and making loads of noise, these guys will do all of that for you. I pay them a set amount and they'll mine for me. Um, it's been very popular. Their contracts seem to sell out quite quickly, especially for Bitcoin. And I was going to do a talk about this video today, um, predominantly about m my experiences so far, because I actually bought two contracts. I bought one to mine Ethereum and one to buy M Monero, I think it's called or pronounced. <laughs> and uh, I did that in my couple of videos ago um, so go back and watch that if you want but yeah so I was about to just talk about that and that's all I was going to discuss but I've come on here today and actually another YouTuber mentioned it and that's what made me think to look on this website earlier was that Bitcoin uh, contracts are back in stock now the only negative side is that when you um, buy one you're actually starting it on the 15th of March 2018 now what that means is today you would pay a set amount of money on the 15th of March they will start mining for you and then obviously you'll start getting paid daily from then so this is saying you're gonna pretty much pay for and you're not gonna see anything from it for at least four months but then saying that obviously it's a long-term game with these guys they mine for you every single day so over the next two years obviously you're gonna be glad that you did get on board with those pretty early on so you can see here just to give you a rough idea of how much it costs I've clicked it on the lowest amount, which is one terahash, which is quite a lot, I think. But you know, but what do I know? <laughs> and it's one hundred and seventy-nine dollars. Um, you can go all the way up and customize this, however you like, all the way up to two hundred terahash, which is an insane amount of uh, processing power, and that costs thirty-one thousand eight hundred. Obviously, you're going to see a lot more, you know, a lot more return on that. So it might be worth weighing up. Um, how much you want to sort of spend and obviously the price of Bitcoin keeps going up generally um, so you got to think where whatever the price is today you're going to pay this fee this US dollar fee today but Bitcoin's may be worth who knows £10,000 a coin obviously you've only paid £31,000 four months ago for it and you're starting to accumulate these £10,000 coins but who knows we don't know that but just saying, you know, that's a possibility. So it could be very, very profitable uh, later down the line. So it's, this is the reason why they sell out so much. Everyone wants them, everyone gets it. Um, you have to be very quick with it. But I ain't actually getting one of these just yet because I'm not in a position to today and I'm sort of putting my money aside for December the 1st to invest in this ICO. So um, I'm sort of skipping out on this one. But Anyway, that's about, if you're interested in getting onto Genesis Mining and you do want to mine Bitcoins, which is the most popular currency, get on there now because these will go probably by tomorrow, if not the next day. Uh, when I looked, they had sold out within one or two days, so this won't last for a long time. So if you want it, get on board. If you do want to uh, purchase one of these plans, there is a little link down below in my description below this video and if you copy and paste that when you actually go to paste, place your order, you actually get 3% off that. So, you know, if you're looking at sort of doing a decent amount, that 3% equates to quite a bit of money when you add that up. So use that link down below um, and if you use it, I think I get free hash power or something like that. So I haven't actually got any at the moment. So feel free to use it and whoever does use it, I'll give him a little shout out because you'll be my very first ever uh, ref referral if you like. But anyway, let's talk about what I've ordered so far. So if we go to my orders, obviously I ordered 
the lowest amount, which was $29 of ether mining. Oh, no, actually, I think I did. I think, let's have a little look, actually. Uh, yeah, sorry, I ordered two mega hash of um, ether mining, which came to $58. And I did 60 hashes uh, per second of um, Mon Monero. Um, and that came to $50 as well. So it came to just over $100. Um, so that's how much I spent in British money. That's about £75. And this was about, I don't know, a week ago or so. But what I found is normally when you go to your dashboard, so when you watch other people on YouTube, they always show you their dashboard like this. And you see a little chart going up. Now, if you look at my one, EFA, you can see here it's all flatlined. I've got nothing. But then... I was really worried about it. I was thinking, oh, what, why isn't this happening? What's, what's, have I just give these guys my money for nothing? But then someone put on there that when you pay with a credit or debit card, they like to wait 30 days before they start paying you out in case you obviously are a scammer or fraud and you try and withdraw those funds again uh, through your credit card. So um, I think they wait 30 days. But then someone did point out, if you go to your orders, you can actually view it in number form. So here you can see I've got zero on everything else but on EFA I've got 0 0.00112 and of Monero I've got 0 0.00299 so I'm actually accumulating coins now of different um, different types of coins I'm gonna have to use a tissue sorry oh. um, yeah, so I've got these coins. Um, now, I wanted to work out roughly, based on a very short period of time, I've only actually received uh, three days' worth. So you can see here, this is every time that I'm getting transferred some um, some currency. And the first lot was on the 17th, and I get two lots, because obviously I'm doing two different contracts. Then uh, on the 18th, and then on the 19th. Today's the 21st, so it's sort of two days behind, I suppose. Um and it tells you how much I've got. So what I wanted to do with you guys is show you what I've got so far uh, versus how much I've actually spent. So um, let's I use this website here because it seems to have all the different currencies on it. So if we go to Monero price and we get the amount that I've actually got. This is a two-year contract, so for two years they're going to be mining for me. Um, obviously, I'm only showing you what I've earned in three days, so obviously it's not going to be a huge amount. And I also bought the lowest sort of tariff there was, actually. So let's have a little look. So it says there that in Monero I've accumulated 0 0.31, uh, so 31 p pence, in British money, so it's probably about fifty dollars, at fifty cents, sorry. Um, and then let's check out the other one, which was Ether. So, so don't forget that thirty-one pence, and we're going to add up Ether or Ether. Paste that. We want it in British pounds. And that's 30, 30 pence as well. So actually I've accumulated 60 pence, which on average, obviously, over the three days is 20 pence a day. So <clears throat> this is a two-year contract. So let's just try and work this out, whether it's going to be profitable. Bearing in mind, I've spent 100 and... Let's work out exactly, just so there's no... I've spent 58.20... Forty eight point four nine, and because I paid with a card, I did get charged. And because obviously it's um, abroad, I got charged a fee for doing this, which was two pound ninety nine on my bank statement. So that's actually one hundred and nine pound and sixty eight p is what it actually cost me, all in total. So if we compare that to what I'm earning, so don't forget, let's just round that up just to make it nice and easy, $110, um, which will work out in pounds in a second. So I'm earning 
uh, 20 pence a day. So we want to do 0 0.20 times 365. So that's one whole year. Times that by two. So I'm earning 146 British pounds as opposed to, let's do $110 into GBP. What did it actually cost me out of my bank? 83 British pounds. So, um, do, do, do. should have probably pre-planned pre all this so it was all simple, but never mind. Work in progress. So I will be running at a profit for the whole two years of £63. So um, that this. bearing in mind, obviously, it was a small investment. Um, if you're looking at, you know, investing a £1,000, that £1,000, then you're talking 630 quid. So over two years, you're not doing too bad. Yeah, you're not doubling your money, but it's what you know, you're earning fifty percent, sixty percent obviously based on that. So obviously the it all depends actually. You have to take in a few factors in. So one, the difficulty may go up. Um, so then obviously you're not actually mining as much. So you have to bear that in mind. Over time the coins get harder and harder to mine. But on the flip side of that, it seems like every time they get harder to mine the price of the coins go up. So depending on what you're doing with them, if you're just keeping them as they are, one could go up in price a lot more, so then your profits will be higher than what I'm looking at. Or you can convert it all into Bitcoin, which is looking more like it's going to sort of go up over a long time. So over them two years, you could convert them all to Bitcoin or keep them as they are. So then your profit would be going up from that because you'd be converting it into Bitcoin and obviously they'll be going up in price the whole time. So very... Um, when you look at it like that, you think, oh, he's only earning £63. doesn't seem like a lot. But actually, if you look at the return on investment, um, you know, the 140 and then you're gaining £200 back. Um, oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. I invested £83 into it and I'm getting 140 back. Um, again, that's obviously in pounds, £63. Um, that's quite a good investment, you know. There's not many things out there you can actually buy and get at least 50-60% back within a year, two years. So, you know, this is definitely saying if you wanted to jump in, and that's me mining sort of the lower lower value coins as well. If you're looking to mine Bitcoins, you know, the, the value is going to be even better. So, um, yeah, very good website, very good system they've got in place. Um, the good thing is, obviously, they're, they're taking your money at the beginning, so... Over the course of the next two years, I'm going to keep checking that account. And if them coins do go up in price, to me, I feel like, oh, that money, you know, it's gone now. It went ages ago. I hadn't even thought about it. I mean, it's only been a week so far, and I, I, I don't even notice it now. But, um, yeah, that's. I just think it's a really cool website to use, very easy to use. And uh, they seem to be paying people out. They pay you daily. So it's not as if like you have to store your money with them for a, so long, like six months or anything. You can literally start earning money from them and withdraw it. It's only going to take you so many days to actually accumulate your money back. So probably within the first year, you're going to get all your investment back. And then anything you earn in that second year is all profit. It's just all extra money for nothing. So And with this, it requires n nothing from me. I put the money in at the beginning. And now I just check it every now and then. And that is it. That is, I'm earning money just sitting here talking to you guys, doing nothing. So Genesis Mining, big thumbs up. I'd highly recommend it. If anyone's watching this and they do want to get some Bitcoins, like I say, them Bitcoin contracts are definitely, definitely worth it. Um, unless the price of Bitcoin just falls out of the earth, then you know that, that's only going to be more and more uh, better value for money every time because you think you're buying it today at $179 per terahash that's today but you're gaining bitcoins you know two years three years down the line and we don't know what they're going to be worth then so if you sit there and work it on today's price well if I earn one bitcoin I'm going to make this much money back but you've got to think the bigger picture actually the bitcoins are probably going to be worth 10, 15, maybe 20,000 
per coin. So then, then it's like, God, I'm so glad I did that Genesis mining because I'm earning all this money from saying I thought I'd only make 60% of a year ago. So anyway, that's my thoughts on Genesis mining. Let me know what you think down below um, in the comments section. Please like and subscribe this video. And uh, don't forget to use that code if you want to um, um, get 3% off. So if you're thinking of sort of putting down, you know, a thousand pounds worth of hash power onto Bitcoin, you'll get 3% off that. That's got to be, what, is that 30 quid? Yeah, I think it's 30 quid. So um, definitely worth doing, save you a bit of money. And I think I'll just get some free hash power, which I'll probably put towards, um, you know, Ether and that. Uh, anyways, but there's the code and it's in the description down below. And uh, that's it from me, guys, really. I'm going to go and get in bed now because I've got a cold and I'm very tired and I've um, got a sore nose and throat. So <laughs> probably not best talking for half hour on the, on the computer. So I'll see you guys later. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook, all bit Glenn. And uh, I'll see you then. Bye.